in n factorial divided by n minus r factorial, which of the following is the value of n? Ay, kaya lang hindi pala to <coughs> ay kulang pala dito sa question na to. Let's proceed to number 3. Sa so, may kulang sa question na yan. Number 3. In combination of R plus 1, taken R at a time equals 12. What is the value of R? Number 4. On a piece of paper, seven dots are marked such that, oh, ito, masasagot niya to, ha? No three points are collinear. How many lines can be drawn passing through any of these points? Ano yung magiging ano natin? Answer natin. So give me first the combination of these. Diba, inaral natin yan last time, how to represent each situation with a combination notation. Diba, inaral natin yan how to represent. Ano yung magiging N natin dito? Ano yung magiging N dito sa problem na to? Seven. Okay. seven. So why seven? Because the total number of objects or elements here is seven. Okay? Kaya seven po yung answer natin. While the R, ano yung R natin? What will be our R? Two. Two. Because... Remember that we are asking for the number of lines that can be drawn passing through the seven different points. So as you look at the definition of lines, it can be determined by two points or more. Okay? So dito, kung makikita nyo, there are seven points. So that's the end. And you have to count the number of lines that you can create out of seven points. So that is the R. So we have combination of seven, taken R at a time. If you can do it on your calculator, do you have your cal calculator with you? So sa calculator, meron kayo dyan makikita na NCR o kaya NPR. Okay? So i-type nyo muna yung number, which is seven. Tapos... Pindutin niyo yung NCR. Pwedeng um, nasa button siya o kaya you have to ship. Check nyo. And then after nyo makita may letter C dyan na lalabas, i-type nyo ngayon yung 2. So makikita nyo na dyan, 7C2 ang lalabas sa screen ninyo. Okay? So i-equate nyo lang, makikita nyo yung answer. I-equal nyo lang. So what will be the answer? na po yung sagot natin dito. Natry ba? 21 po. 21. So, natry nyo sa calculator ninyo. Sino yung sumagot? Hindi ko kasi nakikita yung name. Sino yung sumagot sa, sa tanong ko? Kalamba po. Alam ba? May calculator ka dyan? Yes po, ma'am. Yes. So, nakita mo how to do it using the calculator. How to compute for the combination notation. So, for number 4, we have letter A, 21. Let us have first number 5. Five letters are to be selected from the word logarithm. How many of these choices contains at least four consonants? So we are looking for the number of combinations we have here, pero we have to consider yung number at least four consonants. So how do we do that using the um, wait lang, uh, open 
a jam board. Share ko siya sa inyo. Ayan. Then, let's screenshot this. Oy, ang bagal mo ha. Ayan. So, screenshot natin yung number 5 para maalala nyo how do we represent May kita ba both messenger and ano? Both messenger and Google Meet. So dito, um, sa number 5, as you can see, we have here the problem where you have to select letters. Since yung word na ginamit is select, meaning this is combination. Okay? So yung word na logarithm, there are consonants, and of course, there are vowels. So ano na ba yung mga consonants niyan? Ilan yung consonant na meron? Oy. Consonants. And how about the vowels? Ilang consonants meron tayo for this problem? Six. The word logarithm. Six. And ilan yung vowels? Three. Three. So, ang, ang hinahanap sa atin is at least. What do you mean by at least? When we say at Three least. Three more four, ma'am. That's four, at least four, meaning that's four or more. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, dapat apat na, na consonant or more than that. Okay? Ilan ba yung letters na isi-select natin? Kasi sabi dyan, you have to select. Ang sabi, you have to select five letters. So, yung five letters natin na yun, nahatiin natin sa kanila yung pagpili. Depende sa kung ano yung hinihingi sa atin. Okay? So, unayin natin yung ano, yung, yung, yung sitwasyon kung saan apat yung napili. So, apat na consonant. Dahil lima yan, we still have one vowel. So, pwede tayo mamiling apat sa consonant, then one vowel. Then, kung hindi naman apat, sabi nga, or more. So, pwedeng lima. So, we have five consonant and no vowels. Okay? Kasi lima na. So, ang consider lang natin dyan ay apat na vowels, I mean consonants, and limang consonant. So, dalawang sitwasyon, both of them will satisfy you the condition that we have to look for the number of choices we have considering that at least four consonants are being selected. Okay? So, there are four consonants. How, will re how are we going to represent that in combination notation? So, that's combination of, we have to get the number, total number of consonants as six, taken four at a time. And then, how about for the vowels? We have combination of three, taken one at a time. Since both of them will happen at the same time, we will multiply them. How about if there are five consonants? So if there are five consonants, combina that's combination of six, taken five, combination, combination of six, taken five. And then since um, zero na yung sa vowels natin, we don't have to include that. Okay? So ano yung answer natin dito? Our answer here will be from our combination notation, that is, combination of six taken four at a time, times combination of three taken one at a time, plus, because either of them may happen, kaya plus tayo, combination of six taken five. Ito yung apat yung vowels, I mean consonants, vowels ako ng vowels, apat na consonants at ito naman yung lima yung consonant. 
So, ang gagawin natin dyan, we get their values. Ano ba yung value ng combination of 6 taken 4? So, sa calculator ninyo, um, i-tap nyo yung or push nyo yung button ng 6, tapos yung NCR, tapos yung 4. Okay, so what will be the combination of 6 taken 4 at a time? 15. 15, correct. Right. So that's 15 times, ano naman yung combination of 3 taken 1? 3 po. 3, right. Plus, ano yung combination of 6 taken 5? 6. 6. So we have 15 times 3 plus 6. 15 times 3 is? 45. 45. So 45 plus 6 is? 51. 51. So the answer here in number 5 is 51. And that's letter C. Okay. Now let's go back to our lesson. We have here the uh, correct answers. I think ako talaga yung number ito eh. <laughs> So for the recap, um, let us have the combination notation of number one. Ano ba yung combination notation yan? Sige po. Combination of 10 taken 5 at a time. Correct? Number 2. From a population of 50 households, in how many ways can a researcher select a sample with a size of 50? What's the combination of Asian? So, tawag tayo ng pangalan. Parinduke. Parinduke. Maya ta sumurowa. Kung wala si Marinduke, baka si Rowa nandiyan. La Denshina. Masa ka to kayo ko. Shina, King. Ma'am, ano ma'am? Combination of 50 and ano, 15. Oh, paano ba yung sinasabi? Tama yung, yung konsepto mo, no? Pero yung way how to pronounce it, is combination of 50 taken 15 at a time. Okay? So, yung 50, di ba, binanggit po na yung 50. Combination of 50 taken 15 at a time. Sana all taken, no? So, sa combination, we say taken at a time. Number 3. A delegation of 4 people is to be selected from... Five women and six men. Find the number of possible delegations if there are at least three women. So we have to represent that in combination notation. So ano yung magiging combination notation natin dyan? Sabi, at least three women. So ano yung mga sitwasyon kung saan at least three women yung, yung uh, may bibigay natin? Ano may meaning at least three? Meaning... Three or more than, or more. Okay, so pwedeng tatlong babae. Kung tatlong babae, that's combination of what? Combination of what? Ako, nakalimutan na yata. Nagawin natin to sa ano. Wait lang. Open natin yung... Tama pala ko nung binuksan. 
Nakita nyo pa rin yung screen ko. Tama ba? Ayan. So we have this situation given. So kung makikita nyo, we have to select um, four people from five women and six men. So binigyan tayo ng condition where there are at least three women. So, yun yung kailangan natin tandaan. Dapat may tatlo. That's uh, three or more. Or simply minimum of three. Okay? So, looking at the situation, meron tayong limang babae at anim na lalaki. Kung pipili tayo ng apat, sa kanila, and at least three of them is women. So, let us say na merong tatlong women at dahil apat yan, isa na lang for boys, we will choose one or select one from boys. So, one sa men. Okay? Dahil sinabing three or more, meaning pwedeng apat. So, apat women. Pipili pa ba tayo sa men? Hindi na po kasi nakumpleto na natin yung apat na delegation. Or I mean, people to be selected as delegates. Okay? And to represent that in combination, we'll have combination of five, taken three. Combination of six, taken one. Okay? So multiply natin sila because they will happen at the same time. Ito naman, dahil sa women lang tayo namimili, we do not we do not have the men dito na lang tayo so we'll have combination of 5 taken 4 so combination of 5 taken 4 okay so ano na yung magiging ano natin dyan uh, final answer or final representation to combination notation so ang magiging answer natin dyan is Combination of 5, taken 3. O, oh, ito man ang 5 po. Taken 3 at a time times the combination of 6, taken 1 at a time. Plus, we will add this because either of them may happen. Pwedeng ito yung mangyari or pwedeng ito. That's combination of 5, taken 4. Okay, so this is the answer for number 3. Yan. So let us proceed to our lesson. I have here a situation we, where we are asked to uh, count the number of three-letter combinations that can be made using math word or the, the letters in the word math. So three letters lang, three-letter combination. Okay. So kung titingnan natin, ilan ba yung pwedeng ma-form na three-letter combinations? And ilan ba yung arrangements na pwede nating ma-form? Okay? So as you look at the permutation here, these are the different um, arrangements that can be formed using the letters in the word math. Tatlo lang ang pinili natin per combination, or I mean, per arrangement. Tatlo lang, tatlo, 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 and so on. So, ginrupo lang natin siya, depende sa kung ano yung um, letters na ginamit natin. Okay, so dito sa, sa unang ano na to, we have um, three letters, which is MAT. Dito yung letters na ATH, dito naman yung letters na MTH. Dito naman yung letter sa M-A-H. Okay? Dito naman, when it comes to combination, anong difference nila na permutation? When it comes to combination, order doesn't matter. Arrangement doesn't matter. While in permutation, um, combination, ang difference niya sa combination is that si arrangement, si order matters. Kaya nga lahat sila, 
Basta magpalit sila ng pwesto, magkakaiba sila ng arrangement. Dito sa combination, it doesn't matter kung ano yung position mo, but as long as pare-pareho yung letrang ginagamit mo for that, or I mean, objects or elements na ginagamit or included in each arrangement, they are considered as one. Kaya nga nakita ninyo dito, naka-equal tayo. Ibig sabihin, pareho lang yan. So, dito sa combination, isang arrangement lang to. Well, in permutation, anim na arrangement siya. Okay? Ganon din dito, yung mga letters na ginamit, pare-pareho lang namang A, T, H. So, isang arrangement lang to. When it comes to permutation, ang difference niya is lahat ng arrangement na to ay magkakaiba dahil magkakaiba sila ng pwesto. Okay? Next here, we have the letters... Uh, may ano ata dito, may typo. Oh, may typo nga yata dito. Ay, ne, ne, tama pareho. So, dito, as you look at the letters, we have letters M, T, H. So, pare-pareho lang din yan for combination. So, isa lang din yan. So, nakakatatlo na tayo sa combination. At sa permutation naman, iba-ibang arrangement yan. So, kung titignan natin sa permutation, nakaka-18 na tayo. Pang-18 na to na arrangement. Dito naman, pare-pareho lang din sila. So, we have here one combination. So, a total of four combinations. Ha? And when it comes to permutation, ito, magkakaiba sila. So, sa permutation, a total of 24. So, yun yung pinagkaiba nilang dalawa. Si combination, when it comes to this kind of um, situation, kung saan magbubuo ka ng three-letter word from the letters of the word math, Sa combination, apat lang yung arrangement na meron. Apat lang. One, two, three, four. When it comes to permutation, there are 24 arrangements. Okay? So, kung titignan natin, itong sa combination, anim yan, right? Anim. Bakit naging anim? Ay, I mean, anim na equal lang or pare-parehong arrangement lang. Pero dito sa permutation talaga, that's anim. Okay, sa combination, isa lang. So, we can say na kung ano yung letters sa ginamit mo dito, um, pare-pareho lang siya when it comes to combination. Pakita ko sa inyo, how do we form the formula for combination dito using this concept? <coughs> Balik natin sa dati. Yan. Screenshot ko lang para mas makita niyo. How do we solve this in permutation? So in permutation, when we solve this, pwede tayong gumamit ng box method. Ano yung solution natin for box method? Diba? Three-letter arrangements yan. So if that is three-letter arrangements, um, that's sa unang, ano, sa unang box, we have four, kasi apat yung choices natin sa word na math. Okay, apat yung letters, apat yung choices. Then, dun sa uh, pangalawa, meron na lang tayong three, kasi ginamit mo na dito yung letter, and dito we have two, which is equivalent to 24. At ko ito include lagi sa solution ko kasi may mga student na mas nadadalian dito. Okay? Pero, remember that this is also the same with permutation of 4 taken 3 at a time. Where form it, uh, the formula is um, permutation of n taken r at a time is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. So, kung, kung isasubstitute natin dyan yung, yung 4 and 3, we'll have 4 factorial 
divided by 4 minus 3 factorial, which will give us 4 factorial divided by 1 factorial. And 4 factorial is equal to 24 divided by 1. That's also 24. <clears throat> okay? So, yun yung sa permutation. Kaya, 24 ang meron tayo dito. 24 arrangements. 24 yung answer natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times 4, 24. Okay. How about for the combination? Sabi ko sa inyo kanina, we consider this as one. So, as one of arrangement lang yan. Kasi, bakit siya as one? Kasi po, um, pare-pareho lang yan when it comes to combination. So, isa lang yan, isa lang to, isa lang to, isa lang to. A total of four arrangements lang. I mean, four combinations lang meron tayo. So, kung four combinations lang meron tayo, so, tingin ninyo, if we are going to solve that using permutation, kasi may permutation na tayo, alam na natin that in permutation, it is permutation of 4 taken 3, which is 24. How can we get 4? Paano natin makukuha yung 4 using the concept of permutation? Diyan pa kayo, ano, Google Meet? Oh, yung mga nagle-left na, ha? Kitang-kita dito sa cellphone ko, ha? Paano natin siya isa-solve? Using permutation. Kung meron na tayong, alam na natin yung konsepto ng permutation, there are 24. 24 numbers. I mean, number of permutations. Ano kaya yung pwede natin gawin for us to get four? Ilan ba yung naulit na na arrangements? Bilangin natin na one, two, three, four, five, six. Anin yung naulit na arrangements? So ano yung Ano yung magagawa nun when it comes to 24 and for us to get 4? Ano natin magagawang combination notation to which is equal to 4? Divided by 6. Sino yung sumagot nun? Tarano. So, we'll have to divide this by 6. So, we can see that when it comes to combination, sabi natin this is combination of 4, take and 3. All you have to do is to get the permutation divided by the number of um, repeated arrangements. At saan ang galing yung 6 na yun? Alamin mo na natin saan ang galing yung 6. Dito, ba? Dito siya nang galing, yung 6 na yon, yung 6. Pero yung 6 na yon is actually from 3 factorial. When we say 3 factorial, ito yung number of items or objects that we have here. That's 3, I mean, that's 6. And yung 6 na yan nang galing sa 3 factorial. So, what is 3 in the given combination? Or what I mean is, saan ba nang galing yung 3 when it comes to the problem? Yung 3 po ay yung ating R. So, gawin na natin yung formula. Ano yung formula nito, no? Uh, buuin na natin. So, sabi natin, ito yung R. Nang galing siya sa R. And if you get that, factorial of your R, you'll get the number of arrangement na nauulit. So, gawin na natin yung formula. That's combination of N taken R is equal to permutation of N taken R divided by R factorial. So, from this, screenshot ko, lipat tayo sa kabilang page. Okay. 
Sorry. Screenshot pa ba to? Yan. So, from here, galing tayo dito. Ayan. We will now solve for the or derive the formula para malaman nyo kung saan galing yung formula. Dahil alam nyo na dinivide siya sa number of repeated arrangements. Itong 3 factorial is equal to 6. Iyan yung 6 repeated arrangements. So, we will now derive for the formula. So, kapag dinerive natin yung formula, palit tayo ng kulay. So, nanggaling tayo sa n. So, combination of n taken r at a time is equal to npr. Ano yung formula natin dyan? That's n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. And we also have, may napindot ko. Dapat, ano eh, erase. Divided by R factorial. So, ito yung combination of N taken R. Naaral natin, no, kung paano makuha yung formula, kung saan nakuha yung formula. <coughs> so, nanggaling siya dito sa permutation, then kinuha natin yung formula niya. And then to simplify this, we have to multiply both numerator and denominator to the reciprocal of this denominator. So, ang reciprocal po niyan ay 1 over r factorial or 1 over r factorial. Okay. Then if you simplify that, you'll get cancel na to. Okay, cancel mo na yan. N factorial divided times 1. That's B. That will be N factorial. Then N minus R factorial times R factorial will be N minus R factorial times R factorial. So, kaya nga po yung formula natin for combination is... Ang formula natin for combination is this. Kasi nanggaling siya sa permutation. Sabihin natin, ano ba yung n natin dito? Total number of elements or objects. Objects. And yung r natin is the taken. Or selected, kasi this is um, combination. Selected objects. Tali now, how do we get the formula? Yung formula ng combination, nanggaling siya sa permutation, dinivide lang natin dun sa repeated arrangements. Bakit natin dinivide? To eliminate the repeated arrangements. Google Meet, naiintindihan ba? Kanina pa ako walang masyadong nakukuha ang idea galing sa Google Meet. Rola, naiintindihan? Opo, ma'am. Justina? Opo, ma'am. Sino pa ba yung mga, ano, baka mamaya hindi nyo maintindihan, ha? Okay, let's proceed. So, tuloy na natin, no? So, kaya naging ganyan yung formula niya for us to get the... So, we have combination of n taken r is equal to the permutation of n taken r divided by r factorial. So, yung r factorial natin dyan comes from the arrangements that are being repeated or yung mga naulit na arrangements, same, same arrangements lang when it comes to combinations. So, we have the formula for combination, which is n factorial 
divided by n minus r factorial times r factorial. So, ano lang yung difference niya sa formula ng, ng permutation? Sige nga, Sestina, ano yung difference nito sa formula ng ano, permutation? Ano lang pinagkaiba nilang dalawa, Sestina? Ano yung Sestina? N minus R po sa baba. Ah, uh, uh. nag-gets naman yung punto niya, no? Ang sinasabi niya doon is yung N factorial, ay uh, yung N minus R factorial po may kasamang R factorial. Nag-feedback lang talaga siya. So, yun yung difference nilang dalawa. So, alam niyo na what is the formula for permutation and combination. So, it is easier for you to evaluate the combination additions. So, isasolve lang natin yan using the formula. So, isasubstitute nyo lang si 9 and si 6 sa n at sa r. So, as you can see, we have here combination of 9 taken 6 at a time. So, that's 9 factorial divided by 9 minus 6 factorial times 6 factorial. So, 9 minus 6 is 3 factorial. So, magiging ganito itsura niya. Pansinin nyo yung denominator, dapat laging ang, ang number na yan ay, if you get the, the digit only, that's 3 and 6, their sum is 9. Okay? Pag tinignan yung digit lang ha, hindi yung factorial itself. Yung digit lang, yung number lang na 9, tsaka yung 3, tsaka yung 6. Malalaman yung tama yung solution na yun. Okay? So, ang ginawa dito, we cancel out first the larger value sa denominator, which is 6 factorial. And then, you simply expand, or, or kaya naman, pwede sa calculator, um, multiply nyo na lang 3 factorial, that's 6. Then, multiply nyo si 9, si 8, tsaka si 7. You divide that to 6, and then you'll have your answer. So, ano yung magiging answer natin dito? We have 84. So, ganun lang siya. How about this? Dito, ang pinagkaiba natin dito is that meron tayo ditong 4 times the combination notation. Ano yung combination notation natin? We have combination of 20 taken 20 at a time. So, if we um, substitute that to our formula, we'll have 4 times the combination of 20 taken 20 at a time equals... 4 times 20 factorial divided by 20 minus 20, that's 0 factorial or equal to 1. And then we have here 20 factorial. So, ano mangyayari sa solution? Magiging 0 factorial yung nasa denominator times 20 factorial. And mapapansin nyo dito, pwede tayong mag-cancel out. No? 20 factorial, 20 factorial, pareho sila. So, ano na lang ang matitira dyan? That's equal to 1. So, our answer here is 4. Okay? Naintindihan to? Paano nangyari? Paano naging 4? So, how about uh, we are done in evaluating? Madali mag-evaluate, di ba? Substitute nyo lang yung N. Substitute nyo lang yung R. Then, perform the indicated operation. So, ganun lang siya kadali. Eh, paano kung naka-encounter kayo ng, ng sitwasyon kung saan hindi answer yung nawawala, hindi yung value yung nawawala, hindi yung answer for the combination notation yung nawawala, kundi yung N. O kaya naman yung R. So, let us have this. Let us solve for this. <clears throat> Asa na yun? Sige nga, pa. I want you to substitute this to... <clears throat> Wait lang. Ayan. Okay. 
Okay, let us try solving this. Mag-blue tayo, blue. Para hindi masakit sa mata. So, we have combination of n taken 2 at a time is equal to 21. Pero ang hinahanap dito is yung n, yun yung unknown, and we had to use the formula for combination. Ano yung formula niya for combination? It's combination of n taken r is equal to... Wait lang, may nagme-message. So we have n factorial. Pabilang na po yung ano ha, yung present. Divided by n minus r factorial times r factorial. O haba pa na nung linya pa no? Yan. Okay. So, sa substitute natin dyan, ito. So, you have combination of n taken 2 at a time is equal to n factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial. Bakit n yung sinubstitute ko? Kasi yun yung Yun yung nawawalang value. Kaya n lang ang gamit natin dito. Kasi yun yung hanapin natin. And this is equal to 21. Right? So, kunin natin to. Itong part ng ano natin. And yung part na isosolve natin. And as you remember, sa permutation, ginawa na natin to, di ba? Naging n minus 2 factorial. Yes, may nagtataas ng kamay. Narinig ko yun. Sino yung nagtataas ng kamay? Wala namang sumagot. So, kung natatandaan nyo yung sa n factorial natin, yung sa factorial, scratch lang to, scratch. So, kung naaalala nyo yung sa n factorial, <coughs> si n factorial can be um, expressed to this um, expression, which is n times or ganito na lang. n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 that and so on until we get 2 and 1. Okay, naalala niyo yan? Factorial. n factorial can be expressed this way. Bakit siya ganyan? Because remember, kapag meron tayo n factorial, kunwari, um, 7 factorial, kunwari lang ah, di ba, magiging 7 yan, times 8, ay no, not 8, but 6. 6 times 5, times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. So, para din sa mga ngayon lang umatend, ano, ng klase. So, ito yung, uh, ito yung 7 factorial, meaning 7 times the numbers lower than 7 hanggang 1. Okay. So, yung n natin dito, isa lang ibig sabihin yan, pwede natin siya express this way. Pero, express natin siya so that we have n minus 2 factorial. So, kailangan magkaroon tayo ng n minus 2. So, express natin siya hanggang dito kay n minus 2. Tapos, lagyan natin na siya ng factorial. Okay? So, we'll do that here. We'll have n express natin to, 2n, n minus 1, hanggang magkaroon tayo ng n minus 2 factorial. Divided by n minus 2 factorial times 2 factorial equals 21. 
So, pwede na tayo dito mag-cancel out. Ano yung ka-cancel out natin? Ito. Yung n minus 2 factor yan. So, naiwan na lang sa atin ay n times n minus 1 divided by 2 factor yan equals 21. So, para mas mabilis natin siyang masolve, pwede tayong mag-multiply both sides by 2 factorial or simply 2. Okay? Kasi pwede naman na dyan. 2 factorial is 2. So, pwede na natin ilagay dyan. 2. So, maka-cancel na to and multiply lang natin to. So, na yung magiging answer natin dyan. We'll have n times n minus 1 equals 42. So, from here, pwede na tayo agad mag-isip mag ng numbers na consecutive. Ang ibig sabihin kasi niyan nito is consecutive sila. Parang ito, oh, 7 times 6. Consecutive. So, we have to think of two consecutive numbers that when you multiply them, you get 42 as the answer. Anong dalawang numbers yung magkasunod na kapag multiply natin, 42 yung answer? That's 7 and 6. So, masasabi natin that this is equal to 42 and we can see that from here, yung 7 natin yung n at ito yung n minus 1. Okay? I guess na. So, pwede tayong hanggang dito lang. Pwede hanggang dyan lang yung solution natin. Okay? Pero pwede rin if, kunwari, masyadong malaki yung number and it is, um, it is time consuming para mag-isip ng dalawang numero na pwedeng i-multiply to get that product. Pwede nyo naman siyang gawin ganito. So, from n times n minus 1 equals 42, pwede kayong uh, mag-expand. Okay? I don't know. Yes, that's expand. So, or make it an equation, quadratic equation, then we factor out. Yun yung gagawin natin. So, that's n times n equals n squared minus n <clears throat> equals 42. Then, transpose natin si 42. We'll have n squared minus n minus 42 equals 0. So, from here, pwede tayo mag-factor out. Ano yung magiging factoring natin dyan or factors natin. Ang magiging factors natin dyan ay n minus 7 tsaka n plus 6 equals 0. So, these are the factors of this quadratic. So, kapag uh, inano natin sila, pinaghiwalay, we'll get n minus 7 equals 0, then this is n plus 6 equals 0. Transpose, n equals positive 7, dito naman n is equal to negative 6. And we will disregard, we will disregard yung value na negative. Ang kailangan kasi natin, the value that is positive. So pareho lang din, no? Yung n natin dito is 7, n natin dito is 7. So we can say that our n is equal to 7. Okay? So, ito ay 7. 7 dapat. So, combination of 7 taken to us at a time is equal to 21. So, that's how you solve for the value of n kapag nawawala yung value ng n. Okay? Then, let us have number 2 or letter B. So, sa letter B naman, unlike letter A, ang nawawala dito ay yung value ng R. So, we will solve for the value of R. Paano ba natin isosolve yung value ng R? So, pakita ko sa inyo how to solve it. Meron naman siya sa module, meron din dito sa video lessons. Pero, syempre, para mas maintindihan ninyo, i-explain ko sa inyo how to do it. So, remember, we will um, substitute this to our formula. So, combination of 11 taken, 11 taken R at a time is equal to 
11 factorial divided by 11 minus r factorial times r factorial. Sobra na naman po yung ating linya and equal to 330. So that is equal to 330. Now, after we do that, syempre, ito ang importante because from here, masasolve natin kung ano po yung value ng R natin. Ano ba yung value ng R na hinahanap na? So we'll have 11 factorial. Copyin ko muna. 11 minus R factorial times R factorial, which is equal to 330. So, para matanggal siya dito sa denominator, we will multiply both sides by 11 or 11 minus R. 11 minus R factorial times R factorial. So, ganun din dito. 11 minus r factorial times r factorial. Para maalis natin siya dun sa denominator. Okay. Then we'll have here 11 factorial equals 330 times 11 minus r factorial times r factorial. Then after that, since we are just looking for the value of r, we will um, remove here the values, or I mean the numbers. So to do that, ang gagawin natin is to divide both sides by 330. Kasi ang kailangan lang natin is the value of R. So para makuha natin yung value of R, we need to eliminate or cancel out 330. Okay, so na cancel out na natin. Ano nangyari? We have 11 factorial divided by 330 equals 11 minus r factorial times r factorial. So ano na mangyari from here? Ang mangyari po mula dyan is we will think of a number that's when you multiply them, you'll get 330. Ano-ano ba yung mga factors ng 330 na merong um, values that is equivalent kung ano yung nasa numerator? Ano yung sinasabi ko? Let us look at the numerator. Yung numerator natin, angat tayo dito, akyat tayo dito. Numerator natin is 11 factorial. What is 11 factorial? Meaning that's 11 times 10 times 9, times 8, times 7, times 6, times 7, times 4, times 6, times 2, times 1. So, I'll choose to stop here sa 7 factorial. Later, malalaman nyo kung bakit ako nag-stop dyan. Divided by 330. Ano yung mga factors ng 330? na mayroong kapareho dito sa numerator. So, kasi ang goal natin is to eliminate or cancel out those values na para tayo nagde-divide na rin, pero cancellation ang ginagawa natin. So, ano ba yung mga factors ng 330? <coughs> ano yung mga factors ng 330? Yung narinig na ako kanina. Three. Ano pa? Tara na, yun lang. Three times. So, kapag dinivide natin si 330 kay 3, magiging ano na, 110. 
Oh, nung factors na 110. What are the factors of 110? Mahal po na yung mga sila. Kobe na gawin sila ng siyantan. Eleven times ten. So if you look for the factors of three hundred thirty, you'll get three times eleven times ten. So yung eleven dito, pwede natin cancel out from the numerator, and same as ten. Ay paano si three? How do we factor out or cancel out three? So saan ba siya? <coughs> Divisible. It is divisible or aling factors sa taas in the numerator is divisible by 3. That's 9, right? So, si 9, divisible siya kay 3. So, we have here 3. And cancel out na natin yung nasa mga. So, anong natira sa numerator? We have 3. Ito, 3. Yan, ay, ayaw niya. 3, 8, saka 7. So we have here 3 times 8 times 7 factorial divided by, ay wala na palang divided by kasi natanggal na natin yung nasa denominator. Equals 11 minus R factorial times R factorial. <coughs> And as you look at this, makita nyo na C8, ano, and C3, ano nang gagawin natin susunod? Siyempre, kailangan makaisip tayo since ang, ang equivalent natin dito is both factorial, nakafactorial sila pareho. Kailangan mag-isip din tayo ng isa pang factorial kasi meron na tayong 7 factorial. Dapat makaisip din tayo ng isa pang factorial out of 3 times eight. So I want you to look at the factors of eight. Ano ano ba yung mga factors ng eight? Na pwedeng maging way for us to to create a factor factorial or to think of a factorial na pwede nating um mailagay dito sa solution natin. What are the factors of eight? Ano ano ba yung mga factors ng eight? Po. Ano daw? Four times. Four times. Yan, correct. So, ayusin natin ha. Gawin natin from highest value to smaller. So, that's four times two. Ay, no, not two. Three muna. Times three, ito. Times two. Times seven factorial equals... 11 minus r factorial times r factorial. Okay? So, 4 times 3 times 2. Wala na to kasi ginawa na natin siyang 4 times 2. So, manggagaling tayo dito sa so 4 times 3 times 2, which is also equivalent to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, or ano to sa factorial? <coughs> Ano ba to sa factorial notation? Bios. Ano to sa factorial? Yung 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Dali lang ang tanong ko. 4 factorial po. Apo, uh, oh, correct. That's 4 factorial. So, meron na tayong 4 factorial times 7 factorial. So we have 4, say, angat ko lang ng konti. <clears throat> so we have here, 4 factorial times 7 factorial equals 11 minus r factorial times r factorial. So ganito yan. Dahil meron na tayo ditong uh, answer na ganito. Ano daw? Huh? 
Sino yun? <coughs> so dahil meron na tayo dito ang 4 factorial times 7 factorial equals 11 minus r factorial times r factorial, either of them may be a value of h. Okay? So pwedeng ito, pwede siya sa 7 factorial, o kaya naman ito. Ito naman pwede din siya sa 4 factorial or ito. So ang gawin natin, ah, uh, Maghiwalayan natin. No? So, unahin muna natin yung 4 factorial. 4 factorial equals, equate natin siya sa isa. Ito muna. Ito. 11 minus 11 minus R factorial. <coughs> so, kung 4 factorial equals 11 minus R factorial, na naka-parenthesis yan ha. So, dahil ang kailangan natin is yung value ng r, we will get all the numbers only. So, that's 4 equals 11 minus r. So, para makuha natin yung value ng, ng r, transpose natin si r. So, r will become positive and we'll have 11 minus 4. So, r is equal to 7. Okay? And ano naman yung isa? Kung si 4, in-equate natin siya dito, syempre si 7 factorial, equate natin siya kay R. So, R factorial is equal to 7 factorial, or R is 7. So, dito, as you can see, ang value ng ating R ay 7. How about on the other one? Paano kapag ang ginamit ko ay 7 factorial. Kung 7 factorial yan, in-equate natin siya to 11 minus r factorial. Since we are looking for the r, we'll have the values only. So, 11 minus r lang tayo dito. Then, we'll transpose. So, we have 7, transpose natin, at ipalit natin si 7 doon. So, r is equal to 4. So, na-equate na natin to sa 7, sa 11 minus r. So, ito naman dito. So, we'll have r factorial is equal to 4 factorial. So, r is equal to 4. So, as you can see, magkaiba sila ng values. But both of them, if you substitute that to r, kapag sinubstitute niya sa r, both 7 and 4, they'll give you 330 as the value. So, ano yung sagot natin dito? What will be our answer here? Our answer here is that R is equal to 7 and R is equal to 4. So, dalawa yung magiging answer natin. <coughs> Malina po ba? Any question? Sabi ko sa inyo, para tong teleserye, dapat sinisimulan para maintindihan. O, oh, huwag niyong... Nalaktawan. Baka nakatulong na yung iba dyan, ha? Okay, let's proceed. So, para makita nyo yung recap ng ating solution, ito yung sa letter A. So, ayan. Okay. Kanina ginawa natin dito, hanggang dito lang tayo, no? Kasi alam naman natin consecutive numbers yan. Dahil maliit lang yung number... Mas madali. Pero kung malaki, you have to proceed here. Pwede nyo gawin yun. Or pwede nyo naman din gawin to. Depende kung saan kayo mas nadadalian. How about letter B? Ito naman yung sa letter B. So, kanya, diniretso niya na. That's, um, this is I very ideal para ito yung mas maganda gawin. Kasi, diretso mo na siyang makukuha yung yung equation na kailangan natin. Ayan. So, in-expand niya muna. Then, siya ay nag-factor out. And then, ayan. So, naging dalawa yung, kumbaga, dalawa yung value ng ano natin, ng R natin. It can be 4 and 7. So, let us have more examples. For letter A, Mr. Lucas planned to conduct an intervention program for 20 students at risk in mathematics. So in how many ways can the teacher 
select five students at a time. <clears throat> oh, in how many ways now? Ano yung combination notation natin dyan? Marunong na kayo nun, di ba? Kasi tinuro na yun last time. So what? Okay. Combination of 20 taken 5 at a time and that is equal to anong equivalent nun? <coughs> Oh. So, pag sinubstitute niya sa formula, we'll have yan. 504 ways. Okay. So, about for letter B. Five different letters are chosen from the word education. How many of these choices contain at least three vowels? <clears throat> Paano natin yung i-represent? Ano yung sinabi dyan? At least three vowels. So if we are going to represent that, syempre hiwalay natin yung vowels, hiwalay natin yung consonants. Ilan ba yung consonant natin dito? Five, con ay, four consonants. Ha? Huh? Five? Four, po. four vowels? Four consonants and five vowels. Okay. So we have five vowels, four consonants. Right? So one, two, three, four, tama. <clears throat> and sabi dyan, at least three vowels. So ano yung mangyayari? Pwedeng three vowels and two consonants. Kasi 5 yung kailangan natin. Pwede din namang 4 vowels and 1 consonant. O kaya naman 5 vowels. So, ibig sabihin kasi ng at least 3 is 3 or more. Or kaya naman minimum of 3 ang ibig sabihin. Nun. So, paano mangyayari yun? We'll have 3 vowels, 2 consonant, 4 vowels, 1 consonant, or lahat sila vowels. So that's 5, combination of 5 taken 3, combination of 4 taken 2. This will happen at the same time. Plus 5, combina combination of 5 taken 4 times combination of 4 taken 1. This will happen at the same time. And combination of 5 taken 5. So dahil either of the 3, either of the 3, no? So kahit alin dyan sa tatlo ang pwedeng or posibleng mangyari, ia-add natin yung kanilang mga values. So, pag kinuha natin yung mga values niyan, ayan. Or simply, that's 10 times 6 plus 5 times 4 plus 1. So, we have 81 ways. So, kung wala kayong calculator, all you have to do is to use the formula. Kung meron naman, pwede na kayong dumiretso dito. Okay? Lalo na pang nag-quiz at nag-worksheet na. A concert pianist agrees to take part in a charity concert for COVID-19 patients. She offers a choice of nine works, of which four were composed by Chopin, seven by Liszt, and three by Schumann. 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 I'm going how to pronounce that. So calculate the number of ways this four works can be selected if there are two words for chopping, one for list, and one for chew. So, how can we sub, ano that, solve that? So, kung dun muna tayo kay chopping, ilan ba lahat ng, ng kinompose ni chopping? Apat. Dalawa yung isa-select natin from his four words. So, ang gagawin natin is we have combination of four taken two at a time. How about for list? Ilan ba yung gawa ni list? There are two composed by list. So let's take a combination of two taken one. Okay, two taken one. How about for 
Schumann, we have three. Eh, isa lang sa select natin. So, that's three taken one. So, ano magiging itsura niya? Ganyan. Okay. Wait lang. Wait lang, ha? Okay, so the answer here is 6 times 2 times 3 or 36 ways. So for our wrap up, what you need to remember is that when we talk of combination of n taken um, r at a time, or combination of n objects taken r at a time, we have the formula combination of n taken r at a time is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial times r factorial. Okay? Where n and r are positive integers, that's what you need to remember. And then r is um, greater than 1 or equal to 1 or less than or equal to n. And less than or equal to n. And it can be um, expressed in different notations like this. Naintindihan po? So we now proceed to um, module number 11. So when it comes to module number 11, andyan pa ba kayo? Do you need break or ituloy-tuloy na natin to? So when it comes to problem solving, we'll be dealing with different situations. So, ang kailangan nyo dito is yung skill ninyo na natutunan last time. Anong skill yon Yung natutunan nyo on how to identify if the given situation is a permutation or a combination. Okay? Naalala nyo last time, no? Pinag, uh, inalam nyo kung ano yung, combi is it combination or is it permutation? ba Yun yung ginawa nyo last time. So, let us have our goal, which is for you to solve problems involving permutation and combination. So, for our pretest, number one, in how many ways can three couples be seated in a round table? Is it permutation or combination? Ano po? Hindi ko narinig yun. Permutation. And actually, this is circular permutation. When it comes to circular permutation, what do we do? For us to solve for the permutations or the number of arrangements, anong ginagawa natin? We simply...
Ano po? Diba binibilang muna natin yung number of people? Ilang mga tao meron if there are three couples? How many people are there if there are three couples? Six. So meron tayong anin na tao when we say three couples, okay? So, pansinin nyo dito sa problem, walang binanggit if the three couples must be seated together. So, we will count them individually. So, pag binilang natin sila individually, there are six people. And if you are pertaining to circular permutation, syempre gagamitin natin yung formula doon. Ano yung formula doon? That's n minus 1 factorial. So, 6 minus 1 is 5. So, that's 5 factorial. And 5 factorial is equal to 100. 20. So, yun yung tatandaan nyo, ha? So, the answer here is letter B. How about for number 2? How many distinguishable permutations are possible with all the letters of the word sequence? Permutation daw, distinguishable permutation. Ano ba yung formula natin doon? So, para maalala nyo, balikan natin yung mga formula. And I also have a correction pagdating dito ano, sa formula. Kasi kaya siguro kayo hindi makasagot kasi nakalimutan nyo na yung formula for permutation. Ano-ano ba yung mga formula? Both permutation and combination. Combination kasi isa lang, no? When it comes to permutation, marami. Duma na tayo sa ano, permutation. Sa permutation, marami. <coughs> so, una ay yung sa permutation itself. Ano ba yung formula natin doon? That's permutation of n taken r at a time, which is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. Ano pa? Um, we also have the distinguishable permutation distinguishable permutation that P is equal to N factorial divided by A factorial times B factorial times C factorial. <coughs> and so on. Di ba naalala nyo pag may pare-pareho? Kunwari, ah, pare-pareho yung color ng damit, pare-pareho yung color ng, ng book or kind of book, color ng flowers, and so on. Ito yung ginagamit natin kasi may pare-pareho. Okay? Let us have number or letter C. Ito naman ay kapag circular permutation. So, merong tatlong formula dito, no? Sa circular permutation. Yung una is n minus 1 factorial. Ito mostly ginagamit kapag objects are arranged in a circular manner, in a circular table, in circle. And uh, madali natin ma-identify dito if your order or your arrangement is counterclockwise or clockwise. Naintindihan? That's n minus 1 factorial. Ano naman yung other two formula? Yung other two formula ay ginagamit kapag bracelet, <coughs> bracelet, key rings, necklace, na mayroong lock or walang lock. So, pwedeng with lock or without lock. Pwede din namang with lock. Naalala nyo yun? So, kapag without lock, ginagamit natin ito, yung n minus 1 factorial, pero dinidivide natin siya sa 2. Diba? So, how about yung kapag with lock? Ang sabi ko sa inyo last time, nagiging ano siya, diba? Nagiging linear. 
So, kung nagiging linear siya, ganda itsura yung bracelet. So, kapag naging ganyan na itsura ng bracelet, linear na siya. So, di ba, ang sabi ko sa inyo, nagiging n, my, uh, nagiging n factorial na siya. Pero may correction ako dito. Correction. You have to remember this. Itong part na to. Ito. Kailangan yung tandaan yan. So that's permutation is equal to, remember, kahit na naging, ano siya, linear. Kahit na naging linear siya, hindi mo pa rin makikita yung pinagkaiba kapag finlip. Ano yung ibig sabihin ng nagflip? Uy, 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 mali, mali. Ay, 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 anong date ngayon? 20. So kapag nagflip tayo, maaalala nyo ba kung anong itsura niya? Ano pang itsura niya? Ano pang pinagkaiba niya dun sa other one na ginawa? I mean, dun sa kaninang itsura niya? Nakita niyo ba yung difference? Kay hindi. Kapag may bracelet kayo, binaliktad niyo, binaliktad niyo ulit, pare-pareho lang ang itsura niyan. So, hindi lang siya basta n factorial, but instead, it's n factorial divided by 2. So, anong pinagkaiba nitong dalawa? Ito kasi, n minus 1 factorial divided by 2. Itong nasa baba, yung with luck, yun yung n factorial divided by 2. Bakit? Kasi pag finlip mo, pareho pa rin ang itsura niya. Kaya meron pa rin divided by 2. Ito yung nililinaw ko ha. Ito yung nililinaw ko. So ulitin ko ha. <coughs> when it comes to um necklaces, bracelets na walang lock, ang formula natin is n minus 1 factorial divided by 2. Pero kapag with lock, yung formula natin is n factorial divided by 2. Okay, yun lang yung pinagkaiba nila. Ito may minus 1, ito wala. Ano pa yung formula na meron tayo? Of course, we have the combination. Siyempre, di pa pahuli yung combination, ano? So, meron tayong formula for combination. Ano yung formula natin for combination? That's combination of n taken r at a time is equal to n factorial divided by n minus r factorial times r factorial. Okay? So, yan yung mga formula na kailangan nyo tandaan at alalahanin when it comes to solving for the combination and permutation formula. Huwag na huwag nyo siyang nakalimutan. Kung natatandaan nyo bakit ganun ang itsura ng formula na yun, and explain ko naman siya, may intindihan nyo when to use it at where to use it. So for number two, distinguishable yan, di ba? When it comes to distinguishable, di ba, dinidivide natin siya sa mga nauulit or number of, uh, number kung ilang beses na ulit yung object or element. So, tingnan nyo yung, ano, yung word na sequence, di ba? Ilan, ano ba dyan yung letters na naulit or letter na naulit? Mga letter o kaya naman letter na naulit? Letter E. So, kung letter E, ilan ba yung letter E? Tatlo. Ilan ba yung letra ng word ng sequence? 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, there are 8 um, letters. So, we have permutation is equal to 8 factorial divided by ano yung number nung naulit or ilang beses naulit yung isang letter. So, divided by 3 factorial. So, kapag sinob niyan using your calculator, what is 8 factorial divided by 3 factorial? 6,720. So, we'll have here letter C. Okay? How about in number 3? In how many ways can 3 Bicolano books, 4 Cebuano books, and 2 Ilocano books be arranged on a shelf so that all books in the same dialects are to be together? 
Saan natin ito isosolve? Is it permutation or combination? Combination ba ito o permutation? Bakit siya permutation? Bakit siya naging permutation? Kasi, ano ba ginagawa natin if we are arranging on a shelf? Di ba ina-arrange natin sila sa isang linya, sa isang row? So kapag ganun, yung sitwasyon, ibig sabihin that is permutation because they, they hold a certain position. They, there is a space for them or they are holding spaces in that shelf. Okay, so importante yung arrangement. Kaya lang, this time, screenshot natin para pakita ko sa inyo yung solution. Kung mapapansin nyo, dito sa sitwasyon na binigay, ang sabi, um, same dialects, are to be together. Permutation to, di ba? How do we do that when it comes to permutation? There are same dialects that are to be together. So, ganun din kung pareho na, kung paano natin ginagawa. Kung paano natin siya ginagawa na you have to count all of the objects. So, kung together sila, Sabihin natin na tatlo yung sa Bicolano books, we will consider this as one. Kasi they, want, they are together. Ganon din to, ganon din to. So ilan lahat ng items? Items. Sige, sagot. Sige, sagot. Ayan. Ayan. Sige. Okay, ano muna yung ano? Nag-feedback tayo. Okay na ba? Okay na ba? Sestina. Off mo muna yung mic mo. Off mo muna yung mic mo. Ta. 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 Di yata ako narinig ni Sistina. Yan, yeah, narinig niya ako. So, pag, kin pag kinonsider natin de yung mga books na to as one, so we have one, two, three, meron tayong tatlong books to arrange. So that's three factorial. Gamit tayo na medyo makapal para makita nyo. So that's three factorial times, multiply natin siya dun sa number of arrangement nila. So, kung ito magkakasama, possible silang magkapalit-palit na pwesto. If that is the case, multiply natin siya dun sa sarili nilang arrangement sa pwesto nila na yon. Ito din, itong apat, pwede rin silang magkapalit-palit. So, multiply natin siya sa 4 factorial. How about the, other, the, the two books? Siyempre, magkakapalit din yan. So, multiply natin siya. Ito ay yung arrangement nila as a whole. Bicolano book, Cebuano, and Ilocano. Okay? And then ito, yung sa Bicolano, ito yung sa Cebuano, at ito yung sa Ilocano. So, kaya nga tayo merong 3 factorial times 3 factorial times 4 factorial times 2 factorial. At ito ay equivalent to what value? One thousand seven hundred twenty-eight. Is that correct? Okay. So, the answer to... Ah, 
Okay. So the answer here is letter B. Let us have number four. From a group of seven men and six women, five persons are to be selected to form a committee so that at least three men are in the committee. In how many ways can the five persons be selected? So, paano to? How do we solve this? Ah? Huh? Pabilang po muna ng, ano, ng number of students para ma-report ko na siya. 26 na lang kasi kayo eh. Na lang? Parang mas marami kanina, no? So, ito, 13 plus 11, 24. 25, 26. O nga, tama. <laughs> so, tingnan muna natin yung sa, girl, uh, sa ano. Sino tong Jake dito? Si Diego ba to? Diego, ikaw yan. Nakita mo yung screen ko. Tinuturo ko yung ano mo. Ayun yung sumagot. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Girls, 19. Boys, 12, 31. Wow, 31 tayo. Wait lang ah. Uh, report muna natin yan sa kinauukulan. Ano ba ilalagay ko dito? Uh, Alpar. Anong date po ngayon? Natatakwang kasi yung kalendaryo ko. 20. 4, 20, 21, 2021. Boys, ilan yung boys ulit? 12. Girls, 19. Total, 31. Oh, aga ko nakapag-attendance. Ano, Forward naman natin yan. Wait lang ha. Okay. Mag, ano muna. Commercial. Modular ko. Send ko lang sa modular ko. Ay, but reply. Ay, but remove. <laughs> <Ano ba yan? laughs> Sorry. Tanga lang, no? Tanga lang. Ayan. Ayan. So, screenshot muna natin to. Para masagutan natin. Pero hindi ako magsasagot. Kayo magsasagot, ha? Tuturuan niyo ako. Ako naman turuan niyo. <laughs> Hagi na lang ako nagtuturo sa inyo. Kayo naman. So, anong gagawin ko dito? Ha? Malbar, ano na gagawin ko dito sa number 4? Nakikita niyo ba screen ko? Ano po? Ano pong gagawin? Ah. 
Okay? Sulat daw muna natin yung ano, given seven men and six women. Ang kapal naman ng ano ko. La ballpen. Tapos, Opo, at least three men. So, ibig sabihin, three or more men. Kailan ba ang kailangan iselect? Siyempre, kailangan mo rin na-identify ilan yung kailangan mo iselect. So, you need to select how many? You need to select five persons. So, tandaan niyo that we need to select five persons. Sige, next. Ano nang gagawin ko po? Two women and tapos paano sa men? Ilan? Three. Yan lang ba ang pwede? Sabi diba three or more? Okay, four men and one women. Ano pa? Ano pa? Ah, ito na yun, di ba? Yung binanggit mo. Ano pa? One yun na one. Paanong baliktad? Ano pa? Tatlong lalaki, dalawang babae, apat na lalaki, isang lalaki, isang, isang babae. Ano pa? Yung sitwasyon na pwedeng mag-satisfy dito sa kondisyon na dapat tatlo ang lalaki. At least three are boys or men. Five men. Five men, syempre. Yun na lang yung natitira. So, how can we, or what will be my representation in combination? So, this is combination of combination of tapos times Okay, o. Oh, iba naman. Dito, sa baba. Sa 4-1. Sige. Then. Ba't di sumasagot yun sa Google Meet? O, oh, sino yung sumagot nito? Siya rin yung sasagot nitong 5M. Sino yung sa 5M? O, oh, sasira na lang pala lahat. Siya ba yun? Parang iba yung boss na rin ko kanina. Ma'am. Ayan. Sino yun? Yung nagsumagot kanina. May ibang boses eh. Siga sir. Siga sir? Okay. Sige. Siga sir muna. Siga sir. Bigyan ano naman natin ng chance yung iba. Seven combination of ah? seven combination of five at a time. Dapat ang basa dito kasi combination. Ito tama ko ulit ha para maano na ng lahat. Combination of kung ano yung N. Taken kung ano yung R at a time. So dito, 7 yung N mo, yung R mo is 5. So combination 7, taken, 5 at a time. Okay, ganun siya binabasa ha. Okay, next. Mag-solve naman tayo. Ano po yung ano nito, value? Ano naman yung value niyan? Oh, yung may calculator kanina para mabilis. Sino yung may calculator kanina? Sino ba 'yon? Hana? Ito ba 'yon, Hana? Oh, para mabilis tayo. 
Pwede din kayo mag-install ng ano ha, ng scientific calculator na application sa cellphone nyo. Wala kayong scientific calculator. Kasi nandyan lang naman kayo sa bahay. So, why not use your gadget as your calculator? Pwede yun. Okay. Yung problema nga lang natin dyan, pag nagsasagot na kayo ng mod ng, ng worksheet at ng quiz, hindi nyo magagamit yun. Kasi pag umalis kayo dun sa worksheet nyo, kaya sa quiz nyo, di ba, pwedeng ano siya, ma-reset. Uh, wala yung lahat ng sinagot mo. Oh, sige, asa na yung iba? What is combination of seven taken two at a time? Thirty-five, ma'am. Ba? Thirty-five po. Thirty-five. So this is thirty-five times combination of six taken two. Fifteen. Fifteen, ma'am. Fifteen. Yan, sumasagot na yun nasa ano, Google Meet. Ano pa? How about yung seven, combination of seven taken four? Thirty-five po. Thirty-five din. Times? Six. Six. How about combination of seven taken five? Twenty-one. Okay, so multiply mo na natin to. Thirty-five times fifteen is equal to five hundred twenty-five. Ako na ako multiply ha. Thirty-five times six is two hundred ten. Oi. 210, and we have 21. So we get their sum. That's 525 plus 210 plus 21 is 755. Okay, so there are 700, ay, 55, about 56, 56, 756. Yeah, 56, namali ako ng tingin. Eh, sabi ko, wala dito sa choices. Yan. So, we have letter C as the answer. 756. So, let's go back. How about number 5? <clears throat> ito, out of 5 mathematicians and 7 engineers, a committee consisting of 2 mathematicians and 3 engineers is to be formed. In how many ways can this be done? If any mathematician and any engineer can be included in the committee. So, kung mapapansin nyo, um, we are also um, forming a committee here. And in forming a committee, especially if there is no position um, stated, this is combination. Kasi we are just selecting people. So, this will be permutation or combination of 5 taken 2 kasi dalawang mathematicians lang kailangan natin. So, ano ba yung combination of 5 taken 2? Sige nga, pakisolve. What is combination of 5 taken 2? Ano po? 10 po. 10, correct. So, how about for combination of ano? Paano sa engineer? Anong combination notation yan? Correct. That's combination of 7 taken 3 at a time. So, kung combination of 7 taken 3 at a time yan, what will be the equivalent? 35. What? 30. 30. 35. 35, correct. So, we have 10 times 35 is? 350. So, in number 5, the answer is letter A. Okay. Let us now proceed to the... Uh, ito muna yung recap. <clears throat> so letter A, permutation of N taken R at a time. So, letter B naman, distinguishable permutation where things are alike. 
So, sa literacy naman, circular permutation. In circular permutation, yung um, things that are arranged in a round table. And for letter D, we have without lock. Sa E naman, with lock. And sa F, yung combination of N objects, they can R at a time. So for our lesson, we have here the word circle. Okay? So the, let, uh, we are going to proceed to the examples. The same examples ang importante dito. Okay? So in how many different possible permutations can be made from the word circle such that the vowels are never together? So, ano mo ng klaseng, ano yan, problem? Is it permutation or combination? Kung makikinig kayo sa pagbasa ko ng problem. Oo, permutation yan. Because you are arranging the letters and each letter um, holds a possession. Okay? So, ang sabi dito... Vowels are never together. Naalala nyo ba when we solve problems that involves things or objects that are not together? Ano yung ginagawa natin if they are not together? O baka nakalimutan nyo na dahil sa permutation ko pa yung tinuro. And meron din naman sa combination. Naalala ba? Oh, so, kung hindi naaalala, ipapaalala ko. Kapag um, meron tayong mga um, sitwasyon or problem na nagre-require sa atin to find the number of possible arrangements or combinations na all may mga elements na ayaw nilang or elements that are not together or never together. Yun yung mga terms na ginagamit. Ang ginagawa natin dyan first is we solve for the number of permutations or combinations without restrictions. So what do I mean by that? Kukunin mo muna yung permutation nilang lahat. Okay? So kapag sinold natin to, Getting, by getting the, wait lang, screenshot natin. Para masolve natin siya sa ano. Available yung ano ha, yung video mamaya. Tayo nyo ma-upload. Oh. Para kapag nagsagot kayo ng quiz, ma-titingnan nyo. Okay. So dito, mag-green tayo kasi oh, maganda mag-green dito. So kung dito makikita nyo, we are looking for the permutations and permutation ng word na circle. Anong napansin nyo dun sa word na circle? Dapat alam nyo kung ano yung... Ano yung kapansin-pansin sa mga given para malaman nyo kung anong formula yung gagamitin. So, anong napansin nyo sa word na circle? Dalawa po yung C. Dalawa po yung C. Okay. So, kung dalawa yung C, when we say dalawa yung C, ibig sabihin may naulit na object. Kapag may naulit na object, automatically, that's distinguishable. Ano yung distinguishable permutation? Yung may mga elements tayo na um, may kapareho na element. Elements that are alike. Yan nga yung tinatawag natin. Or things that are alike. So, ano yung formula natin dyan? Ang formula natin dyan ay N factorial divided by A factorial, B factorial, C factorial, and so on. Kaya tayo may ABC kasi ayan yung mga items na uh, may kapareho dun sa mga kapwa niya elements. Okay? So, kapag sinold natin yan, ang gagawin natin, of course, is to use the formula. 
Yung formula natin is n factorial. N stands for the number of elements. So, ano ba yung n natin? First, n muna tayo. What will be our n? N here is... 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6. And, ano yung letters na naulit? Anong letter ba yung naulit dyan? E. At ilang beses na ulit yung C? Dalawang beses. Okay. So, pag ginamit natin yung formula, permutation is equal to 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial. Right? So, that's 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial. Kaya lang, meron tayo dito, sabi, vowels are never together. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin, without restrictions muna, ito yun. Yung without restrictions. So, kung without restrictions, ito yung sinasabi natin. That 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial. And this is equal to 6 times 5 times 4 times 3. Anong equivalent niyan? Ano equivalent nun? 360. Isin ko lang yung gamit kong kulay para baka isipin nyo iba na yung solution. Eh. So that's 6 or wait lang, wait, wait, wait. Equal, equal. So that's 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 which is equivalent to 360 ways. So ito yung no restrictions. Eh, paano kung vowels are together? So, ang gagawin natin dito, no restrictions, without restriction, minus vowels together. Para makuha natin yung vowels are not together. Okay? So, without restriction, ibabawas natin yung arrangement, mga arrangement na sila ay together para makuha natin yung mga arrangements na hindi sila together. Okay? Na gets? So, we are done with without restriction. Ito na yon. And ang gagawin naman natin ngayon ay yung, mer uh, yung, yung vowels together. So, paano natin yan magagawa? Ang gagawin natin is, bibilangin muna natin kung ilan yung letters. Ilan lahat yung letters? Ilan nga ulit lahat ng letters? Six. Ilan dyan yung vowels? Ilan dyan yung vowels? Ilan daw? Ba't hindi ko naririnig yung boses niya? Ilan yung vowels? Ulitin. Two vowels po. Ano yung sagot ng isa kanina? Hindi ko rin kasi narinig eh. Baka to rin yung sagot niya. To rin ba yung sagot ng kanina? Uh, to din daw. Narinig ko na siya. So there are two vowels. So kung anin yan, dalawa yung vowel, ito yon. that's I and E. We consider them as one kasi nga together sila, as one sila. So, one, two, three, four. As one na yung dalawa, five. So, gamitin natin to ulit. Permutation is equal to five factorial divided by two factorial. 
Naging five na lang siya. Bakit? Kasi ito yung vowels are together. Ay, wait lang, ayusin ko. Ito yung sinasabi nating vowels are together. Sige, gagawin ko na lang green yung kulay ng ballpen ko para maalala nyo. Permutation is equal to um, 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial. Ito yan ah. Vowels are together. Okay? And then, pag together sila, hindi ba sila magpapalit ng pwesto? Di ba? Posible silang Opo, posible silang magpalit. So, i-multiply din natin siya dun sa arrangement nilang dalawa, which is 2 factorial. So, dito, pwede tayong mag-cancel out. Bakit? Kasi there is 2 factorial in the denominator and 2 factorial in the numerator. So, ang matitira na lang dito is 5 factorial, which is equal to 120 ways. Okay? So, nakuha na natin yung without restrictions, walang any condition na hinihingi dyan, at yung with restriction na vowels are together. Ang gagawin na lang natin for us to get yung vowels that are not together, imaminus natin sila. So, ganito yung gagawin natin dyan. That's permutation is equal to, ito muna, 360 minus 120. So, we will have 240 days. So, ito yung, sumobra ako sa ano ha. 240 ways. Ito yung vowels are not together. Okay, so nauna natin gawin ito. Ito yung unang step. Pangalawang step. And pangatlong step. Ganon kapag ang kinukuha natin ay not or never together. Next. So, I think ganun din yung susunod na problem. Ano? Tingnan na lang natin how. Yan. So, about example number two. In the meeting, in a meeting, it is required to sit four women and five men in a row so that the women occupy the even spaces. So, how many arrangements are possible? Ito, sobrang dali lang nito. Siyempre, you have um, nine people, so meron tayong nine chairs. And kung mapapansin nyo, um, yung, yung restriction na binigay sa atin is that women occupy the even spaces. So kapag, uh, even places. So kapag binilang natin siya, ito yung even places. Yung pang second, pang fourth, pang sixth, at pang eighth. So kung women yan, ang gagawin natin, apat yung women, dito ilang choices ba meron tayo? We are going to arrange them. There are four, there are three. 2, and then 1. So that's 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 or 4 factorial factorial, or simply permutation of 4 taken 4 at a time. Okay? Sa so women. Para naman sa men, sila yung nasa odd places. So dito meron tayong limang wen, men na pwedeng pagpilian. So 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, or simply 5 factorial o kaya naman in permutation notation, that's permutation of 5 taken 5 at a time. Bakit tayo nag-permutation? Because we are talking about spaces, places, or even, uh, yan, yan, positions. What do I mean is positions, arrangements. They are holding a certain position. And here, arrangement is very important. Okay? So, makikita nyo, kapag gumamit kayo dito ng box method, that's 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Or simply, permutation of 4 taken 4 at a time for girls, which is 24 ways. And for men, dun sila sa odd places. So, meron tayong 5, permutation of 5 taken 5, which is 120 ways. Okay? 
Therefore, the number of arrangements are, syempre, eh, because they will happen at the same time, we will multiply them. So that's permutation of 4 taken 4 times permutation of 5 taken 5. So that's 24 times 120. And their product is 2,880 ways. So yung example number 2 na yan, sobrang dali lang yan. Um, kahit mag-box method kayo o kaya mas maganda kung ganito gagawin nyo. At dapat naman talaga ito yung gawin nyo, which is representation and permutation. Okay? How about in number three? Ito naman tayo. Three brothers and seven other boys are playing together. How many ways can all the boys be seated in a circular order so that the three brothers are not seated together? So ito ulit, not seated together. So ano yung gagawin nila dyan if that is the case? They are not seated together. So, ano muna ang gagawin natin? Siyempre, bilangin muna natin kung ilan yung taong involved. Okay? So, ilan ba lahat sila? Bakit natin sila binibilang lahat? Because remember that this example is circular. They are in a circular order. Meaning, you are arranging them in a circular manner. And what kind of permutation is that? That is permutation or circular permutation. So, kapag ganito po yung gagawin, it, we, involve, we are going to have um, condition na not seated together sila. Ibig sabihin, katulad ng ginawa natin kanina, we have to look for the number of ways they are arranged na walang restriction. Pag sinabing walang restriction, kasi hodang tatlong brothers yan at uh, seven other boys to pagsasamahin natin yung number nila and we will get the number of arrangement na walang restriction. So that's 3 plus 7 is 10. So paano ba siya i-arrange yung sampung tao sa circular manner or circular order? Anong ginagawa natin? We, we are going to use n minus 1 factorial. So let us take um, screenshot of this. Screenshot ko na lang siya. Tapos copy-paste ko na lang siya. Para mas madali. And... Ayan, sakto siya oh. Very good. Tayin lang natin mag-loading. So para maituro ko sa inyo how to do it. Ayan. Kasi natin i-full natin full screen. Ayan. Okay. So, ulitin ko. There is a condition that the brothers are not seated together. Three brothers are not seated together, meaning they are not going to be with each other. And to do that, kailangan muna nating hanapin yung with, the, with no restrictions. Okay? So, dahil ito ay in a circular order, ang gagawin natin ay i-add natin sila. So, that's three plus seven, there are ten. Okay? Our n here is 10. Kung 10 yan, the circular order, anong formula gagamitin natin? Ang formula na gagamitin natin is yung n minus 1 factorial. So, ito yung sinasabi ko sa inyong no restrictions or no conditions. So, 10 minus 1 is 9. So, we have 9 factorial. What is 9 factorial? What is 9 factorial? What is 9 factorial po? Three hundred sixty-two thousand eight hundred eighty. Three hundred sixty-two thousand eight hundred eighty. Okay, so yun yung no restriction. 
ano pa yung kailangan natin hanapin? Ang kailangan pa nating hanapin ay paano yung magkakatabi sila. So, kung magkakatabi sila, um, three brothers. Gawin na natin number. Three brothers. Gawin natin kulay. Kasi para hindi tayo malito. Green na lang. Yeah. So, dito naman, three brothers are together. So, dahil yung three brothers are together, ang gagawin natin, we will count them as one. So, isa na lang sila at we still have seven boys. So, one plus seven is eight. So, that's permutation equals eight minus one factorial. So, what is eight minus one factorial? And, of course, we will multiply that to their arrangement. Siyempre, yung tatlong yan, Magbabago pa rin yan ng pwesto. Possible yon, So, we will multiply that to 3 factorial. Or simply, ang representation ng 3 factorial natin ay permutation of 3 taken 3 at a time. Okay. So, doon ang galing yung 3 factorial natin. Now, what is 8 minus 1? That's 7. What is 7 factorial times 3 factorial? Okay, yeah, go. What is 7 factorial first? What is 7 factorial? 5,040. 5,040. What is 3 factorial? 3 ano factorial natin? 6. Six. 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 Okay. So, 5,040 times 6 is 30,240 days. Okay. Next. How about the brothers are not seated together. How about if they are not seated together? So, solve na natin yun. They are not seated together. Dahil they are not seated together, ang gagawin lang natin is simply subtract this from this. So, no restriction. Minus seated together. equals not seated together. And to do that, we'll get the number of this. This is um, 362,880 minus 30,240. What will be our answer? Ano ba magiging sagot natin dito? Calculator. 332,640 332,640 ways. Naintindihan na how we did this? Hmm? Naintindihan na po ito? Silence means yes ba tayo? Manguhula ako kung naintindihan. So, ito yung solution. Ayan. Okay. Next, example number four. Ito, madali na lang to. Without luck. Anong napansin nyo sa problem sa number four? Pakibasa po muna nga. Uh, pipili ako sa messenger na magbabasa. 
Lakap. Please read number four. Lakap. Asa na si Lakap? Pabasa po ng number four. Kaya mo yan na. Okay. Okay, nabasa niya na. So, as you look at example number four, um, ang pinag-uusapan natin dito ay bracelet. So, automatically, alam na natin Uh, kailangan muna natin alamin if it is without lock or with lock. Since binanggit niya na na without lock, so we will use yung formula na n minus 1 factorial divided by 2. Right? Pero pansin niyo may binanggit na mga kulay. San ba natin to mostly na na na-encounter? Yung may mga... Parehong kulay. Saan natin to mostly na-encounter? Sa ang problem? Anong klaseng problem natin to na-encounter? Yung may mga different colors involved. Saan nga? Yung may pare-parehong kulay, ito tawag natin sa klase ng permutation na yun. Anong klaseng permutation yan? Yung may pare-parehong kulay, pare-pareho ng, ng letters. What kind of permutation is that? Rola? Ma'am? Anong klaseng permutation yon? Need help? Sistina. How about Gasser? Ano klaseng permutation yun? Ano daw? Wala ako na dyan tandaan. Distinguishable po. Okay, correct. So that is what we call distinguishable permutation. <clears throat> so kung titingnan niyo yung number for example, combination uh, pinagsam ang uh, dalawa yung sitwasyon dito. Yung una is that it is in a circular order and without lock. So that's um n minus 1 factorial divided by 2. And at the same time, it is distinguishable permutation. At alam na alam ninyo, kapag distinguishable permutation, dinidivide natin yan to the number of beads or objects na magkakamukha, magkakapareho. So kung gano'n ang sitwasyon, ano magiging solution natin dito? Siyempre, i-add muna natin lahat. Ilan ba lahat ng beads na yan? We have... 4 plus 5 is 9, plus 4 is 13, so we have 13 beads. So that's 13 minus 1, factorial divided by 2. Diba? Kasi pag without lock. Okay? And also, i-divide natin siya kung ilang yellow beads meron, ilang red beads, uh, red beads meron, ilang green beads. So 13 minus 1, factorial divided by 2, Pakita ko sa inyo, times 4 factorial 
times 5 factorial times 4 factorial. So, lahat ng to, yung 2, yung 4 factorial, 5 factorial, and 4 factorial, i-divide natin siya sa 13 minus 1 factorial. Kasi ito yung um, objects na pare-pareho ang itsura. And you cannot distinguish them because of their identity. Pare-pareho ng, ano, ng appearances, itsura. Okay? So, if you solve that, the answer here in our example number 4 is 3,465. Again, titignan nyo po muna yung sitwasyon na binigay. Alam na agad natin kanina that this is bracelet without lock. So, nag-come up agad tayo dito sa formula na 13 minus 1 factorial divided by 2. Pero you also need to consider that there are beads na pare-pareho ang itsura at kulay. Okay? So, let us have number 5. How about for number 5? How many polygons can possibly form from 5 distinct points on a plane such that no 3 points are collinear? So, ano na ba yung mga polygons na naaalala nyo? Oh, what kind of polygon is a six I mean, an, a three-sided polygon. What do we call that? A three-sided polygon. Oh, yan ang tawag natin sa three-sided polygon. Nako, ibabalik ko kayo sa ano, grade 6. Grade 6 pa lang inaaral na yan. Ha? Triangle, ma'am. Triangle po, correct. How about four-sided polygon? Quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. How about five-sided? Anong tawag natin doon? Pen? Pentagon. Pentagon po. Okay. So, of course, for you to form um, polygons, you also need points. And we have here five points on a plane. Therefore, we can create a polygon with five sides kasi five yung points na meron tayo. So, ano na yung mga uh, sitwasyon kung saan masasatisfy natin yung given na condition? Una, pwede tayo mag-form ng triangle. We can also form a quadrilateral. We can also form a pentagon kasi five points yung meron tayo. Okay? Next, Mapapansin nyo sa given problem, it is not permutation but instead, it is combination. So kung combination siya, syempre we will represent our, our solution with combination notation. And there are polygons that has six sides or vertices, four and five vertices. Yun nga yung binabanggit nyo kanina that we have tri triangle, we have quadrilateral and pentagon. So we have three um, ex uh, solutions here. I mean, we have here three combination notations, which is combination of five taken three, combination of five taken four, and combination of five taken five. Since kahit alin dyan, pwedeng mangyari, possible na mangyari, we will add their answers. So... That's 10 plus 5 plus 1. So our number of polygons that can be formed using 5 points on a plane is 16. There are 16 polygons that can be formed here. Okay? So what you need to remember in um, solving problems involving permutation and combination in permutation, if a problem calls for a number of arrangement, that's permutation. And if the combination naman kung problem calls for the number of ways, selecting. So, na difference nila? Ito, um, number of arrangements. 
eto number of ways of selecting objects. Yun lang yung pinagkaiba ng permutation and combination. And of course, you have to remember the formula for each um, problem or each situation. Naiintindihan po? So, let us now proceed to our example, or no, not, not the example, but video lesson number 12. This is easier than the other one. So, kayong mapanghinaan ng loob. <laughs> so, 10.46 na. Tapusin lang natin to. This is very easy. So, huwag na natin pahirapan. So, we are going to deal with module number 12 that is entitled Union and Intersection of Events. So, what does union and intersection means? Later, malalaman nyo. And I am sure that when you were in grade 7, you already know these things. So, you are expected to illustrate events and unions, illustrate events, illustrate union and intersection of events. Okay? Now, let us have first a pre-test. For number one, there are eight chips numbered from one to eight in a bag. A chip is drawn at random from a bag. Let A be the event that the number is a multiple of four. So, ano ba yung mga multiples of four? Ano, ano ba yung mga multiples of four? Hello? <laughs> Diyan ba ba kayo? Ano na yung mga multiples of 4 from 1 to 8? Four in 8 po, ma'am. Oh, 4 in 8 po. So that's 4 in 8. How about yung B? B be the number of event? I mean, the event that the number is even number. Ano na yung mga even numbers from 1 to 8? Na, di na nila ako sinasagot. Grabe, ang sakat sa puso. Ano po? Na, ano po yun? Even numbers from 1 to 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay, so, pakita ko sa inyo para mas madali ang kayo. Wait lang. Okay, screenshot mo na natin to, no? Promise, pabibilisin ko lang to. Mabilis na mabilis lang. Mga pangyayari, matapos tayo dito. Okay na. Ayan. So, for number one, Ang gawin natin ay um, 1 to 8, yung numbers. Then sabi, let A be the event that the number is a multiple of 4. So how do we write events? We write simply the letter, the event, which is A. And then sabi nga dyan, multiple of 4. So ano na yung multiple of 4? Sabi nyo, 4, chai. So, how about event B? So, what are the elements in the event B? Sabi dyan, even numbers. So, kung even numbers yan, that's 2, 4, 6, 8. Okay. Then, we have to find the intersection. Ang tawag natin dyan ay intersection. Dyan sa parang U na nakabaliktad. So, you have to get the intersection of A and B. When we say intersection, you are going to look for the common elements. Uh, sobra sa M yung sulat ko, no? So, that's the common elements. Elements. Okay, ano na ba yung mga common elements natin dito when it comes to the elements in A and elements in B? Alin yung mga common? 4 and 8. So, ganun lang siya kadali. So, ano yung element na common? 4 and 8. Sulat lang natin that the common elements is 4 and 8. 
So, ito na po yung ating answer. Yan. So, ganun na siya kadali. So, for number one, the answer here is, ito, si 4-8. Okay, next, number two. Given X, given the uh, events. Let us screenshot this also. Para habang nagpipretest tayo, dinidiscuss ko na at madali na tayo mamaya. So, in number two, as you look at the problem, ang sabi dyan, um, given daw the, yung ating event queue, pilitan ko lang para mamaya yung number three dito din. Yung event queue daw is X. Ang basa dito, X such that X, naalala nyo nung grade 7 kayo, tinuro yan sa inyo. X such that X is an odd number and X is less than 10. So, ano na ba yung mga odd numbers that is less than 10? What are the odds num odd numbers that is less than 10? 1? Tama ba? 1? Kung tama yung pagkakaranig ko kanina. Ano pa? Sunod? Ano na ba yung mga odd ano numbers? Ah, sorry, sorry. Sige ulit. Go. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 4. So these are the odd numbers that is less than 10. How about for event P? Ang sabi sa event P, X such that X is a multiple of 3 and X is less than 15. Multiple of 3 siya and less than 15. Three, six, nine, twelve. Okay, correct. And we have to find the union of the two events. When we say union of two events, you have to combine their elements. Or should I say that you have to consider both of their elements? So, ano na ba yung elements ng Q and T? E? Both events we have. One, three, five, six, seven, nine, twelve. Okay, so sulat natin. One, three, five, six, seven, nine, twelve. So yun yung union nila. So the answer here is letter A. How about yung next number three? Oh, ito, madali lang ito. Ay, wala yung three. Hindi na daanan. How about number three? Ang sabi sa number three, a die is thrown once. Are you familiar with die? Or dice? Kapag dalawa kasi, dice. Pag isa, syempre, die. Once, and the number of things recorded is recorded. The sample space is one, two, three, four, five, six. When we say sample space, these are the list of all the possible outcomes. Ano ano ba yung mga posibleng lumabas? That's the sample space. One, two, three, four, five, six. And yung A natin is one, two, three. Yun yung lumabas sa um, pag ng roll. I mean, pag ng roll. Pag roll ng die. And yung event B naman is three, six. Which of the following shows the Event C, ang hinahanap niya event C, which is complement, A complement, union of A complement and B complement. So what does complement means? So para sa kaalaman ng lahat, palit tayo ng kulay. So when we say A complement, ang tawag dyan ay A complement, ibig sabihin dyan, from the sample space, na 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... 
Di ba yung A natin is 1, 2, 3. Yung A complement po, yung merong ganito, merong, um, what do you call this? Apostrophe sa taas. Ibig sabihin yan, ano yung mga elements na meron sa A? I mean, ano yung mga elements na wala sa A? So kung meron tayong 1, 2, 3, anong elements yung wala sa A? That's 4, 5, 6. So yun yung tinatawag natin na A complement. How about the B complement? Yung B complement, syempre, ano yung mga elements na wala sa B? Ano ba yung elements na nasa B? That's 3, 6. So, yung wala sa B ay 1, 2, 4, 5. Okay? So, meron na tayong A complement, A complement, and B complement. So, ang gagawin na lang natin, hanapin natin yung union nilang dalawa. Pag union, pagsasamahin natin yung mga elements. So, yung C natin will be yung union ng A complement, ito, yung 4, 5, 6. Union with B complement. Ito. Yung 1, 2, 4, 5. Bawasan nga natin yung taas na ito. Baka sabihin nyo, iba ng symbol yan. Okay. Now, pag pinagsama na natin sila, we have C is 1. <clears throat> so, we have 1. Ano pa? 2. 4. 5 and 6. So, ito yung answer natin dito. 1, 2, 4, 5, and 6. Uh, napin lang natin, ano? 1, 2, 4, 5. 1, 2, saan dito? 4, 5, 6. Tama naman ako, ah. <laughs> So, complement, A complement is 4, 5, 6. Tama. And B complement is 1, 2, 5. 1, 2, 5. How about their um, union? O, tama ako. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6. I don't know if what is the answer for that number. Let us check. Let us check the answer. Dito yan. Next. Ay, sumobra na naman ako. Ay. Ba't ganun? Iba yung sagot niya dito. <laughs> Iba yung problem. <laughs> Hindi kayo nabigay kahapon sa isang section. Let us have number 4. Ayan, ito madali lang to. Number 4. A coin is tossed three times. Let H and T be the head and tail shown on the side facing upwards respectively. The sample space is ito yung mga possible na outcomes. H, 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 head, head, head. Head, head, tail. Tail, tail. Ano, head, tail, head. Ayaw na basahin lahat. Basta for our um, event A, ito yung given. Ito, ito yung nakuhang um, result. Ito yung sa B. And we are going to look for the following illustrations that shows the union, or no, no, not the union, but the intersection of A and B. When we say intersection, the common elements. Ano yung common elements sa A at B? What is the common element in A and B? Dali, para matapos na tayo. Ha? Common element. Sa A at B, ano yung pareho sa elements nila? What is common in their elements? 
we have H, 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 or simply head, head, head. Ano pa yung isang pareho sa kanilang dalawa? Kaya nga, ano pa yung isa? H, 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 T, correct. So that's head, 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 and head, head, tail. So both events have two elements that is the same. So our answer here is letter C. Number five. I have here a Venn diagram. So sa Venn diagram na ito, as you look at this Venn diagram, there is event A. Ito yung event A natin. And we have event B. Then the two events share the same or common elements, which is three elements. So yung three elements na yon, ito yon yun na sa middle ng Venn diagram natin. Now we are going to look for the number of elements we have for the element. I mean for the first event. Pero we have to look at the Venn diagram dito sa part na to. Ilan yung elements, and that is represented by the variable x. And this one is also, we are looking also for the number of elements that is located here this in this part of the Venn diagram. And that is represented by the variable y. So, ano lang yung mga clues natin or uh, informations na given sa atin for us to look at. Na if we are going to look at the number of elements ng union of A and B, there are 20. When we say 20, ibig sabihin, if you are going to count the number of elements of A and B, there are 20 elements. Okay? Both A and B. Or, sabihin na natin, kabuang numero ng kanilang mga elements. While, their intersection or common elements is 3. And it is here. While, the number of elements in B is 12. So ito daw, yung B ay 12. Now we have to look for the value of X and Y. So I would like to ask you, if B is 12, what is the value of Y? Y. Nine, correct. So we can say that our Y is equal to nine. So if this is equal to nine, this is 3. Their sum is 12. How about this one on the other side? So the... Ano po yung x natin? Iko-correct ko nga to guys. Wait lang ah. Wait lang ah. <laughs> so, ano yung sagot natin dito? Itatanong ko ito ha, pero di ba kasi ang ginawa natin dito, yung 12 minus 3, that's 9. Dito, kung 9 yon or 12 to, 20 minus 12 is 8. So, yung A dapat 8. Minus 3, dapat 5 to. Pero kasi ang sagot niya dito is 8. So, itatanong ko yan ulit ha, pero the answer here is letter B. Pero dapat 5 tong isa. Okay. Iaano ko yan. Itatanong ko ulit. So let us have the recap. How do you call or what is the definition of this um, symbols? Ano yung tawag natin dito sa unang symbol? Ay, andyan pa kayo. 
Guys, okay pa ba kayo dyan? Ano tawag natin sa symbol na to? When you were in grade 7, tinuro to sa inyo, this is the union. This is the intersection. This is the MD set. And we have the Venn diagram. Tawag natin dito, I Venn diagram. Okay? And the lesson here is about um, of course, the union and intersection of events. Pero of course, you need to understand first in different concepts. But before that, we have here a six-sided die experiment. And the event A represents the number of even numbers or the number that is even. Yung B naman is a multiple of three. And C represents or the event that is a multiple of five. So, kung titignan nyo yung six-sided die ay merong one, two, three, four, five, six. So, from there, hanapin natin yung even. So, yung letter A, we have two, four, six. How about yung letter B represents the multiple of three? So, si event B is three and six. Kung mapapansin nyo, si A and B, they share the same element, which is six. Kaya, nandun siya sa sa gitna ng dalawang um, event na yan. Well, si letter C naman is a multiple of 5. From 1 to 6, a multiple of 5 lang ay 5. Kaya siya nakahiwalay kasi they don't share an element with other events. And ang hindi lang nabanggit na event and not included in this three events is 1. Kaya siya nandiyan. Okay? So, I'll use that as an example and an explanation or reference for our explanation dito. So, as you look at the possible um, outcomes that we have, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ang tawag natin dun sa mga possible outcomes na yon is the sample space. We call that the sample space or it is also denoted by the um, capital letter which is S. So, how many elements are there in our set S or in our sample space? Of course, there are six elements. So, kapag pinanong kayo, ilang elements ba meron yan? There are six elements. We call that the number or or the cardinality of a set. Kapag tinanong kayo ng number of elements na meron, ang tawag natin dun sa number of elements na yan is the cardinality of the set. Pag tinanong kayo, what is the cardinality of set S? Sabihin nyo lang six. There are six elements. Okay? Next. How about if you are asked, um, ano tawag natin dun sa totality of all the sets? When I say totality of all the sets, totality ng lahat na yan, together with one. Ang tawag natin dyan is the universal set. Okay? It includes event A, event B, event C, and one here. Kasama yan lahat. Meaning, itong universal set na to, subset niya si A, subset niya si B, subset niya si C, at so on. Okay? And the universal set is consider, uh, composed of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Next, ano pa yung uh, mga bagay na dapat malaman niyo? Ano yung complement? When we say complement, this are the Event, uh, elements that are not in that event. So, kunwari, tinanong kayo, ano yung complement ng A? Ano ba yung mga elements na wala sa A? Ano yung mga elements na wala sa A, na hindi makikita sa A? Sa event A. Magbigay nga kayo ng tatlo. Hello, dyan ba kayo? Wala. Nandiyan ba kayo? Oh. One, three, five. One, three, five. So, yun yung mga elements na wala. Ayan o, oh, nakasulat na dito. The elements one, three, five are not in event A. So, that's complement of event A. What is the complement of event B? Uh, 
ano yung complement ng event B? Ano ibig sabihin nun? Ano yung mga events, I mean, the elements that are not in event B? 2, 4, 5, 1. 2, 4, 5, 1, correct. And what are the, what is the complement of C? Complement of event C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, correct. So let us have the common elements of A and B and the common element is 6. So we call that the union. I no, no, no. Not the union but the intersection. When we say intersection, yun yung ang itsura ng symbol niya is parang yun na nakabaliktad. Okay? And we also um, call that or read that as end. Okay? Pagka sinasabi natin siya, A and B. Okay? The intersection of A and B. Pag nakita niyo yung word na end, meaning intersection ang pinag-uusapan niya. Okay, so their intersection is 6. How about their union? Union means that you have to include all the set of elements that are found in event A or event B or both A and B. Okay, so lahat ng elements that are found in A or in B. Okay, ano na yung mga yun? That's 2, 4, pa, ay, 2, 4, 3, 6. So, lahat yun. Malinaw? That's union. Example na lang, ito, we are going to look for the intersection of events. Ano muna ba yung event A and B? Yung event A natin is a multiple of 3, that's 3, 6, 9. And yung event B natin is the number of prime numbers. Or ano na yung mga prime numbers natin? That's 2, 3, 5, 7. So, malalaman mo yung, ano, yung, yung number na, na pwede mong magamit because um, given naman na the chips are numbered from 1 to 10. So, ito yung mga numbers na nakuha natin out of that. So, we have their intersection, what is common in both events. The common in both events is 3. So, A, interse the intersection of A and B is 3. Okay. Paano pag tinanong kayo ng cardinality? Ano yung cardinality? Cardinality means ilan ba yung event na nan, uh, in, in, ilan ba yung element na nandyan. So, isa lang naman yung element natin dito. So, the cardinality of this set is 1. How about for letter B? Union. So, we are going to have the union of the events. So, we'll have 3, 6, 9. So, that's 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 9. So, these are the elements that is found both A or B. Next, how about the complement? Ano yung complement ng A? Unahin muna natin yung complement ng A. Ang complement ng A ay 1, 2, 5, 4, 5, 7, 8, 10. How about the complement of B? 1, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. So, kung kunin natin yung union, we have 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, and 10. Okay? For A lang yun ha. Ito yung sa B. Yan. And yung union nilang dalawa is 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Kabalik ka lang to ng, ng yung kanilang intersection kanina na 3 lang. Pansin niyo 3 lang yung wala dito. Okay. Okay. Let us have now example. Second example. Ang sabi dito yung ating um, event Q is an even number. And our event P is a multiple of 5. Event Q is less than 15 and event P is less than 20. So we are going to get their intersection. 
ano ba yung element na pareho sila? So, that's 10. And their union, samahin natin, that's 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15. So, ganun lang po siya kadali. And the last one is the number 3, yung sa Venn diagram. And the element for um, number of elements in B is 10, so minus minus 7, so 3, why is 3? While for um, union of A and B, or A or B, we have... Um, 25. So, ang gagawin natin, we will use that as an, as our basis. So, nasagutan na natin kanina yung y. So, that's 7 plus 3 equals 10. Minus natin siya sa 25. So, x is 15. Therefore, there are 15 elements in X and Y is 3. Yeah. Pero itatanong ko pa rin to, ha? Si dapat mag-minus siya ng 7. So, dapat 8. 8. Let us stop the recording.